Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa if you're new here and I make lifestyle, fashion, and beauty videos, sometimes college videos and health and fitness. The list goes on and on, depending on how I'm feeling. But anyway, thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy. All right, you guys, so let's jump right into it. I wanted to show you guys what I keep in my super cute travel makeup bag. And I know to some, this is not a travel makeup bag. This is like an everyday collection. And I totally appreciate that and understand that. And I'm very thankful for what I've been able to work for. So yeah, I pack heavy, okay? I don't pack light. <laughs> I'm not that kind of girl. So I wanna show you guys the bag that I use and what I keep in here. So I got this leather travel train case from Leatherology. So this is real leather, super cute. It has gold, a gold zipper and it is so spacious. I got it because it reminded me of the Louis Vuitton makeup bag and I'm obsessed with that one. However, that one is um, very, very expensive. So this was my way of, you know, having that luxury feel, but at a smaller price point. And it still is a tiny bit expensive, but I think it is totally, totally worth it. So let's see what I have inside. So in the top zippered compartment, I keep all my lip products. And when I'm traveling, I, I keep it so light, like unbelievably light. I will pick one lip gloss, a couple of lip liners, and a liquid lipstick. That is literally all I need to create any look. Sometimes I'll just put on lip liner um, and kind of smudge it in. Sometimes I'll just do lip gloss. Sometimes I'll do lip gloss and a liner. You know, I can just create any combination with these three kind of products. And yeah, I think it's perfect. I honestly don't buy regular lipsticks anymore. And I only buy lip liners just because I feel like it does the same thing, but it lasts on my lips way longer. I have a problem with lipstick and lip, glo lip gloss creasing on the inside of my lip. It creates this like rim and it's really gross and disgusting. So yeah, that's how I avoid that is by using more lip liners than I use lipsticks. And if you guys are interested in any of this, I'll link it down below so you can see um, in detail what's in here, but I'll give you an overview of what I keep in the bigger compartment and what I keep in the little pockets. So in the bigger compartment, I keep all of my face products and like eyeshadows. So right now I'm absolutely obsessed again with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I also love the Sultry Palette, but I just recently found out that that one's limited edition and I used it in a video and I felt so bad. But this one is very comparable and it has a lot of the same shades and it's so beautiful. I even hit pan on the shade. I don't know if you can see it, but it is a miracle because <laughs> your girl loves makeup. So I have my eyeshadow palette and I'll kind of jump into some face stuff. I have my little baby highlighter from RMS Beauty that I talk about all the time because I think it's amazing. And I use this as a highlighter for my eyes too, just because it's so pigmented and beautiful. And I also keep two different setting powders. I have a loose setting powder and then a little compact setting powder. They both don't have mirrors, which I don't like, but it's totally fine because I have a mirror in here and I just set this up. Um, against something like the makeup bag itself and I can see everything I'm doing. So I love the loose setting powder from, from Hourglass. My head kept wanting to say Laura Mercier, but this is the Hourglass one. And then the pressed one from Pacifica, just depending on what I'm feeling that day. And we're just gonna go through all the powders and then I'll go through the liquid products just because that's what I have in here. And I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me talk about this, but I always travel with two of my bronzers, my two favorite ones. Like I said, the packaging is different for this Cover FX one now, but I always have my Hourglass and my Suntan shade from Cover FX. So this one is more matte, and then this one has a little bit more dimension to it. So just depending on what I'm feeling, I like having options. Obviously, if you have a smaller makeup bag, you can just take one. And you don't even need eyeshadows if you're bringing all your face products, because you can just use them, you know as eyeshadows and the next thing i always bring up with me when i travel is my spf when i'm traveling i would use the same one on my face for my body but i do have a separate body sunscreen that i use and i'm going to do a beauty essentials video soon where you will see all of that but for now i'll just show you my face one and this one is the one from say beauty it doesn't break me out and i love that so much it is a mineral sunscreen it is not chemical which is super important so much better for your skin so i love this one and it's clean beauty and oh oh, oh throwing things so I don't know if you've noticed this already, but I am a person who I need to see how I'm feeling that day to decide what I want to wear and what I want on my face and how I'm feeling. Maybe it's from the PCOS. I don't know, but I bring two different primers. <laughs> I have two different options for everything. If I'm super oily that day, I'll use my matte products. If I want to be super glowy, I'll wear my glowy products. But I bring my Chill Out Smoothing Primer from Milani and my Pacifica Cherry Matte Primer. Sometimes I want to be matte. 
Sometimes I need my face to feel smoother and more cool and I'll go in with this one. And this one, this category, I'm super extra, but they're all travel size, so don't come at me. But I have three different like setting and priming sprays. So I have the Milk Hydro Grip Set. This one is when I feel like I made my look a little bit powdery. This one fixes that instantly. Like I love it so much. I used the Ilia Blue Light Filter one recently as like a prep spray. So I'll put it on my face before I go in with anything. I'll use this if I forget to put a moisturizer on first or something like that, or if it's been a while since I did my skincare in the day. I'll just go on with this because it's super refreshing and I love like the, I don't know if they put minerals in it or what kind of clean products they put in, but it's, it smells like a spa and I love it. And then when I wanna set my face super matte, I'll go in with the Lily Lolo Makeup Mist. I don't feel like this makes my makeup last the entire, entire day, but I think it does a great job of making it last for a few hours and looking pretty good. I'm not the type of person who has to have my makeup not crease forever because I have like these smile lines right here and my makeup creases almost instantly no matter what I do. I've even started using less products and setting and all this stuff and it doesn't change and I'm totally fine with that. Some people have smile lines, you're gonna have texture on your skin, you're gonna crease, it doesn't matter, it's not the end of the world. So yeah, that's my favorite. I also love traveling with my CC creams instead of my foundations and I do that because sometimes when I'm traveling, or this is my, I, I should also preface, this is my everyday makeup bag too, so this is where like my favorite products go. And I don't always want super crazy full coverage, so I've learned how to sheer out these um, My Skin, Your Skin But Better CC creams from It Cosmetics. I just put the product on the back of my hand and lightly dab it and then lightly dab it all over my face to spread the product more. I feel like I was going in a little bit strong at first when I first used these, but I've learned a better way to use these and I absolutely love it. And so I have the shade both light and fair depending on if I'm going on vacation maybe I've gotten a little bit more sun so I need the light version or maybe I'm pale AF and I need the fair version so I'll just use it so yeah I like to have kind of options to mix with and this one's good because you can cheer it out but it can also be super full-on coverage so whatever you want you can get it out of this and it has 50 plus SPF which is super important and last but not least we're gonna go around the bag there is zippers on every compartment so in this zipper up here I just keep things like makeup wipes or q-tips or stuff like that and then on the sides I keep eye products like my lash conditioner I use this before I put on mascara and then my actual mascara and then I keep these hair clips in my bag to pull my hair out of my face without crimping it I just crimp it a teeny tiny bit but I don't care it's, real, oh, it's really not that big of a deal to me and then the last pocket right here, I have my brow products and some more eye products. So you guys know I am absolutely obsessed with the Kosas brow products. I just think they're so nice and I love them so much. I love everything about them. I love the coverage. I love how they make my lash or my lashes, my eyebrows look. They're just really nice products and I can't get over the packaging still. They look like little crystals and I love it so much. And then anytime I'm on a little pizzazz, I have a liquid liner. This one's just the NYX um matte liquid liner i think i like the stila ones better but i'm just using this one up because it's no big deal but then the wow factor comes in with the stila the glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow i have it in kit and karma and diamond dust so a super bright like light metallic silver and then this one's kind of like that pinky beigey color that just like gives your eyes such a gorgeous pop of color and anytime i want to feel a little bit extra fancy a little bit extra glam i can pop these on when i'm traveling or even every day when i just want to pick my day up. I can put those on. I also don't have them in there, but my Say Beauty lip glosses, I love them so much and I usually keep them in here. I think they're just in my purse right now. But other than that, and sometimes I have a travel mirror. It's smaller than this one. This one's just my desk one. So sometimes I put that in here. I'll link everything below, but yeah, that is it. That is all I keep in this baby and I love it so much. All right, you guys, I appreciate you so much for watching the entire video. Thank you for making it until the end. I hope you guys have the best day ever today. Make it a great one, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.